the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today, this Saturday, is uh, consecrated to Our Lady, and uh, we are now in the Epiphany Tide, between the Feast of the Epiphany and the Feast of the Purification of Our Lady, which will coincide with the presentation of our Lord into the temple. We can today reflect uh, more on the event of the Epiphany, the manifestation of our Lord to the Magi, and we can pick up one single element of this beautiful solemnity to uh, reflect upon. In a Marian way, trying to sanctify this day with the presence of Our Lady. The element is the star that the Magi saw uh, in the sky, a special star appearing. They followed it and they were able to find Jesus. The star is very significant because uh, in the Bible, there was already a prophecy about the rising of a star. The book of Numbers 34, 17. It is the prophecy of Balaam, who had said, a star shall rise out of Jacob, and a scepter shall spring up from Israel. It is a messianic prophecy and the star shall coincide with the birth of the Messiah. The prophecy of Balaam, together with the doctrine of the coming of the Messiah, was spread where these magi came from in their country as well. They saw the star and they uh, decided to undertake this uh, journey towards uh, the newborn king. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, we read that uh, they saw the star, and seeing the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And uh, the star was leading them from their country to Jerusalem, from Jerusalem, to Bethlehem. And uh, in rejoicing at, uh, uh, at this uh, vision of the star, they entered into the house where they found the child with Mary, his mother. And falling down, they adored him and they offered him their treasures. It is also now significant to see together the sign of the star pointing to the birth of the Messiah with another star, we could say, a lady who is uh, called by tradition since the Middle Age with a beautiful title, Star of the Sea. And there is a beautiful coincidence between this messianic, unique star appearing in the sky and leading the Magi, and Our Lady herself, who is the star of the sea. Star of the sea, Stella Maris, is a title, Marian title, describing the office of Our Lady, leading us to Jesus. So that star, which physically was seen in the sky, was a messianic star, a real one, but already with a symbolic meaning attached to it. The symbolic meaning was the capacity of that star to guide the people to our Lord. And in fact, that symbolic real meaning was fully disclosed when this Magi found 
Mary, the mother of Christ, with Jesus. In that moment, there is that the unity between the meaning of the star and its full revelation, star of the sea. In fact, the office of leading to Jesus, showing the way to find Jesus is held by a very unique person. This is Mary, the mother of Christ. And there is also another title attributed to Our Lady since the very early uh, Greek Byzantine period in Constantinople, one of the oldest Marian icons is described as Odigitria. Odigitria is a Greek name meaning the one who leads, the one who shows the way. Our Lady, uh, if you have seen this beautiful icon, very famous, Our Lady holding Jesus, the very famous uh, Greek uh, icon. Our Lady is the one who shows the way to uh, Christ. She is the one leading us to Christ. Christ is the way. Our Lady is the one who points us to that way, uh, gives us Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. The function, the role of Our Lady as Star of the Sea is therefore fully revealed in her mission, maternal mission, to guide us to Christ. She is the one who knows the way, the one who gave Jesus to us. And she is the only one who can help us find the way. And uh, she not only points out that way for us, but she guides us to Christ. She accompanies us through this journey to meet our Lord, as she in a unique way did already at the moment of this uh, first encounter of pagan people in whom each one of us was already present with our Lord. So my dear brethren, let us uh, treasure this uh, beautiful passage in the Gospel of St. Matthew. The pa this Marian passage the adoration of the Magi and the presence of Our Lady, very significant in joining the Magi to Christ. Their adoration was possible through Our Lady, star of the sea and Odigitria, the one pointing out the way, Christ, our Savior. We pray to our blessed Mother, that we too, as the Magi, can always see the star and uh, call upon the holy name of Mary, the name of salvation, because it is that name that is expressing the, her role as mother, as the one who leads us to Jesus. May our Blessed Mother Mary help us find always Jesus, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.